hi fam welcome back to our channel design on a dollar i'm your host ida and today we are going to do a 3d lighted magnolia wall art for your home decor so if this sounds like something that interests you then just keep watching Guys, this is a beautiful magnolia bouquet and I really think you guys are going to enjoy how it's made. It's very simple and fun and adds a lot of um, beauty to any room that you put it in. You can make it the stems any color that you want. You will need several items for this project. So let's jump right into what you're going to need. You will need some glitter, either some extra fine glitter or this chunky glitter. I end up using both. You're going to need some metallic pure gold um, acrylic paint. You're going to need some type of strong adhesive. I didn't end up using it. It's a pencil, a paintbrush, some scissors, two AA batteries some LED lights, some floor wire, some bling wrap, nine feet, um, a paint wheel, some flower shears, and a any size of canvas you want, and of course your magnolias and your hot glue gun and glue sticks i am using gorilla glue sticks so the first thing you're going to do is take your glitter and some of your pure gold paint and put it in your well and mix it together and it's going to seem a little bit runny but it's okay because you're going to use a couple of coats of this on your magnolia and you're going to do this in the silver, I mean in the center of your magnolia. So you're going to stir it up and then you're going to proceed to put that mixture on the center of your magnolias. You will need to use two coats of this and after two coats I still didn't like the way it looked. So I end up um, using the fine glitter as well. See how runny it is and that's why it um, dripped down into the actual magnolia and this because um, the paint would drip down back onto the inside of the magnolia and you're going to put two coats on it that's how the first coat looks after it's dried and so I'm going to go in with a second coat and after that I'm going to set it off to dry and now we're moving on to our canvas. We're drawing out the design and the pattern that we want on our canvas for our bouquet to be. And here I'm just darkening the lines that I've already pre-done. Now it doesn't require you to be an artist to do this guys. You just free hand some lines at what looks good to you. And then you're going to take your floor wire and you're going to lay it against each one of those lines and you're going to measure it out and then snip it to the length of that line I'm sorry guys I lost my train of thought so once you have that you're going to take a two strand of your bling wrap along with your high glue gun and you're going to proceed to wrap that around that wire now guys don't worry um, you can use a single strand of this, but you, I'm going to show you the difference between a single and a double strand. The double strand is much dense than the single strand, but you can use a single strand if you need to. 
and as you go down the strand you're going to periodically put some hot glue there to keep your twist in place so you're going to do this for all of your um, stems and then once you finish that we're going to move to the next step so after you have all of your stems made, you're going to lay them out on your design to make sure everything fits well. And once you do that, I'm showing you guys, this is where I told you, you can use a single strand, but it, it won't be as dense as the double strand. But you can use that single strand and you can already notice the difference that the double is much dense than that one. The single strand you can still see the wire some but the double strand you cannot so now we're going to take a some type of instrument that you can poke a hole in your canvas and you're going to go up about an inch above each one of your stems and you're going to poke a hole into the canvas right above that And this is so that your LED lights can have something to go through. So after that, you're going to take and position everything on your canvas to make sure it's going to come out the way you want it. And I'm showing you here that I didn't really like the way the two coats look. So I'm going to add some of the um, extra fine gold glitter to mine to my magnolias and it's going to give that little bit of sparkle that I was looking for so once that is done um, we're going to open up our LED lights and put our batteries in it because we're going to use that in the step right after this one coming up so after you do that what you're going to do is secure all of your pieces down to your canvas all your stems down to your canvas and like I said I used the strong adhesive on the first one but it wasn't sticking right so I just went to all of hot glue but again guys I'm using Gorilla Glue sticks but it seemed to work out really well and so after we have all those placed then we're going to turn our canvas over and we're going to proceed to put the LED lights in each one of the holes that we just plucked. I mean, I mean we just pushed through to my plug. So here you am. Here I am putting the LED lights on the back and it's very straightforward. You're just going to start with the light closest to your first hole and you're going to proceed to put that through there. And you're going to um, put some hot glue uh, around it or some tape just to hold it in place. But I use hot glue for mine. And so once you have that done, you're going to flip your design back over. And you'll see all the LED lights sticking through. So now we're going to position our magnolias on each one of our stems. So we can make sure that it looks the way we want it. And then we're going to proceed to snip that little green um, piece off the back of our magnolia. Put a generous amount of hot glue. And then we're going to stand it straight up and down. And we're trying to position those magnolias where the leaves are spread open. So um, here I am tacking a couple of the spots down on um, the magnolia. And I'm going to do that to all of them. So now that we have our magnolias glued down, like I said, I'm just going back in and placing the leaves the way I want them. And then that's what it looks like with everything glued down. Now I'm not going to light the base of the stem. So I'm going to take some of the glitter ribbon also from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to make a bow with that ribbon and it's going to tie in with the center of our magnolia. So guys, be careful when you're making this bow 
because this ribbon does melt some so be careful not to burn yourself so I'm gonna make this bow and I'm gonna add tails to it um, just to give it a little bit of pizzazz and then once I finish placing the bow um, I'm going to see that that little bit of glitter that's on the board gives me that sparkle that I want so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with some of the Mod Podge acrylic sealer and I'm going to put a light coat over parts of the canvas and I'm going to um, sprinkle some light glitter the extra fine glitter on it to give me that final touch that I'm looking for just take your time and position your ribbon the way you want it it's all according to you and see that's what I did I took that gloss and I sprayed a light coat on it and then I sprinkled a little bit of the gold glitter on it to give it that extra sparkle when the light hits and then as I finished product here it is on the wall lit up it's a little cricket but you get the idea of it how gorgeous it is so guys if you enjoyed this project please don't give forget to give it a big thumbs up and here it is lit up it gives that just the right amount of lighting to the room to give it that little bit of sophistication that you're looking for. As I was saying, if you love this project, please don't give it a big thumbs. Forget to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel if you're not already a part of our YT family. Make sure your notification bells are on so you'll never miss an upload. And until next guys, time guys, I love you. Bye-bye.